find a product that is unique and life-changing, I want to share it with you. And that's why Freedom Mini Dental Implants has been coming on the show for years. Because if you're not familiar with the process, then I want you to understand it. It not only costs less, it looks fantastic, it's less invasive, it doesn't hurt, all the above. And yet it's available to you. You can throw away the dentures. With me now from Freedom Mini Dental Implants, Dr. Reagan Ackerman. Dr. Ackerman, uh, I, it's not too early to say Merry Christmas, is not it? Not at all. December 1st. <laughs> there we go. We'll open the advent calendars today. <laughs> so, so what is appropriate? Oh, when it comes to smile. I think this is the time of year when people are having office parties and family get-togethers, of course, and they want to look the very best in pictures. Yes. This is a dilemma for some. Talk a little bit about that. Yes. So I see patients all the time that are struggling wearing their dentures. Um, you know, they have to use gobs of denture glue, or they're embarrassed, or they're worried that their denture is going to fall out when they're talking or eating, especially at those family gatherings. There's all that good food. A lot of people just went through it with Thanksgiving. Um, so that's where I'm, I'm here to help with the mini implants. It's a lot less invasive uh, implant and a lot of people that were told that they weren't candidates for implants before the big surgical implants can be a candidate for the mini implant because it's a smaller diameter implant and you get rid of the denture glue, you can get your denture to snap in or we can get rid of the denture completely and so you can taste your food again, have nothing on the roof of your mouth. So there's many different options with the mini implants, um, especially to help people you know, like you said, around those holidays and you don't have to be self-conscious of your smile and if your denture is going to fall out or be loose or go have to reapply glue, you know, five, ten times a day. Yeah, and if you were hesitant or apprehensive about the surgical implants, this is totally different. This is, we equate it to, okay, the difference between having your appendix removed 30 years ago and they had to cut you open and do it, this, and now they do it with a laser, right? This is similar to, The correct? laparoscopic version of implants. There, there you yes. go, laparoscopic. Yes. I, I don't think I can even say that. Yes. Uh, yeah, no incisions. I do not have to make any incisions. Um, you know, just a little local numbing and, you know, make a little hole through the, the gum into the bone. But no incisions or stitches, so a lot less post-op pain. Um, you know, the day I put the implants in, you will leave with your denture snapped in that day if you do the snap-in denture. So you don't have to wait another three to six months um, for the implant to heal up before you can use it like you do with the surgical implant. Um, but, and because it is a lot less invasive, you know, I usually don't have to take people off their blood thinners or the, you know, a lot of people are worried about their medical histories. A lot of times you're still a candidate for the mini implant. We don't have to change any of your medications and we can still do the mini implant. And it's not just about the physical appearance, which I do think we'd all agree, hey, that's important. You want to feel good about yourself and confident, but it's also about the foods that you love. If you wear dentures, you probably know, you probably know that, you know, eating things that are hard to chew, um, really good steak, yes. uh, crisp vegetables vegetables or fruits, Certainly. those kind of things are a struggle. Right. So for some of your patients, that's job They're one. On they they want to get back on their diet. Yeah. diet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you hit the nail on that steak. That is the number one it, thing I hear people, you know. Um, they're like, I just want to chew a steak again or, you know, bite on a carrot, things like that. Eat those nice, healthy vegetables. Um, and with either option, the snap indenture, the permanent teeth, definitely can chew steak again and eat the things that you want to eat and have a healthier diet. Okay, if you're wondering if you're a candidate, we always open up the phone lines because the news is all good. So regardless of what you ask, maybe you're saying, well, I'm on blood thinners or I've been told no about the surgical implants. Call us, 571-5263. Dr. Ackerman will field the calls and see if you are a candidate. And by the way, consultations are free. So if you're wondering if you're a candidate, that's the best way to, for yes. you to know 100%. The best way is to call the office and make a consultation appointment. Uh, we'll take a 3D x-ray at that appointment. Um, the consultation is free. It includes the x-ray uh, to make sure that you're a candidate. I'll go over the process, your options, cost. We'll go over everything with you at that consult appointment. Um, so if you, you know, think that this is something for you or interested or have a loved one, just please call the office um, and make an appointment. Um, I will say too, we are a small family owned uh, office, so not corporate. Uh, so if somebody doesn't answer the phone, leave a message and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Yeah, and speaking of cost, <laughs> it's a lot less than the surgery process. I mean, a, a third to 50 percent less, Usually, correct? Yes. Whoa. Yes. Okay. Now, I've been looking forward to this, and I wanted to be surprised, so we're going to share this.
this experience together if you're watching now. Okay, so my producer, Tammy, mm -hmm. said, wait till you see the before and after pictures of Chad. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite Yeah, and all of them are very, to me, there is, it's a, a significant improvement. But tell us about yes. Chad, because I'm looking forward to seeing the yes. after picture. So Chad came in to me, a wonderful guy. Um, he had had to have all of his teeth removed about three years ago, and he could not wear dentures. He tried, struggled with them, so he just gave up, and he hadn't been wearing anything. Um, so you can see, you know, he kind of had that beard, trying to hide that, you know, he didn't have teeth and was, you know, self-conscious about it. So we were able to do the snap and dentures for him. Oh, my goodness. And there you go. So you see, now I, I see so, what he's done, though, because he yes. was disguising he was his mouth. Yeah. Yes. He was trying to hide. And now, look at this guy. I mean, yes. we're, we're talking GQ chat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's a model. So, um, but you can, so we did the snap and dentures for him. So natural smile. Um, I think the greatest story when he came back, he said he went back to work and he was, you know, didn't really tell them what had happened, you know, and he was having conversations and because he had his teeth and he had shaved people didn't recognize him. They, they were like, who are you? And then finally it took them a second. They're like, oh, it's Chad. So, um, but this is definitely one of my favorite transformations. Um, he just has that confidence back that he deserves again. Um, and he's, you know, shaved his beard and he's just all smiles ear wow. to ear. So. You, know, you know, it's amazing to me how, you know, a beautiful smile is, is like the fountain of youth. It, it does take years off your appearance. And in Chad's case, they've asked him to be the, the new bachelor. Yes. So <laughs> we're, we're going to find out what Chad, no, it, I'm, I'm curious. He married, I, I bet his wife was like really happy. Don't get me wrong. You love yes. someone yeah. for what they have inside. Yes. But it's not too yeah. bad to have a confident yeah. husband, right? It was right? definitely a group, you know, between girlfriend and his mom and everyone. Everyone was just so happy for him to be able to, to have that done. Yeah. So. And, and you can be happy for a loved one as well. As we mentioned, the consultation mm -hmm. is free. Now, you mentioned, you said snap indentures. There's two processes yes. that you use. So let's let, show me what Chad had done. Okay. I'd like to see that one. Yeah. Yep. So this, this is your is, mouth, right? This is the snap indenture. Right. Yes. So, yeah. So this is your mouth, you know, without teeth. You've had all your teeth removed and healed up. And then these are the mini implants. And they're just a smaller diameter implant. So they're a lot less invasive than the big surgical implants. So when I place these implants, I just numb you up local anesthetic. A lot of people know it as Novocaine. I don't make any incisions or stitches. And I will place the implants, and then the same day I put the implants in, I will put these attachments inside your denture. And then that day, you will leave with the denture snapped on to the implants. No glue. No glue. So your denture stays in a lot better. You know, it's not coming out. You don't have to use glue. And a lot of times, too, for gaggers, we can trim it back. And that helps significantly for people that are gagging with their dentures. But you wear this denture 24-7. You'll just snap it out once a day, rinse and clean it, and snap it right back in. I have done this for so many people, like Chad, that could not tolerate a denture. Um, and then once we were able to place implants and have it secure and snapped on to the, the mini implants, um, you know, he can wear his dentures, eat more now, you know, know that he's got that confident smile and also, like you said, the function of it being able to eat. Uh, Chad looks fantastic. Now, the, the other method, and, I, and the reason I want to show this one is because this to me is, is the ultimate. Uh, this is zero plastic, no glue, no plastic. It's like having, as you always say, your third set of teeth. You have your baby teeth, your permanent teeth, and then these. If, if, and, and I think some people are embarrassed. They're saying, you know, I have dental issues. Maybe it's genetic. No need. You're not, this is a no judgment zone, it is right? No yeah. judgment. Zone. We were like the planet fitness of dentistry. <laughs> so, yes, no judge. It happens to the best of us. I see mm -hmm. so many patients, like you said, they are embarrassed. Um, they have done everything possible to take care of their teeth. They've been through root canals and fillings and, and, and everything, you know, to no fault of their own. And it, it happens to the best of us. So, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. And that's why I'm here to, you know, have a solution for you to replace those teeth if that does happen to you. If you don't mind, before we go to break here, show us this method because this is the other one that you offer. Which I, I really like this. Yeah. Yes. So this is definitely the nicest thing we do because you get rid of the denture completely. It's just the teeth. Um, so we're going to place the implants the exact same way. You know, just local anesthetic. I do not 
put you to sleep or sedate you. I'm not making any incisions or stitches. We're just gonna place more implants to stabilize this. But then we're able to make a bridge of teeth. These are porcelain teeth, so they're a lot stronger than a denture. So as you can see, it can just be teeth. You lose all the bulky um, plastic of a denture. This gets cemented on permanently onto the implants. So it doesn't come in and out. It feels the most like your natural teeth. And then you have nothing on the roof of your mouth. You really get to taste your food again and no you know, bulky denture. Um, you brush it just like you brush normal teeth, toothbrush, toothpaste, and then we give you a water pick, a water irrigator um, to kind of flush and keep everything clean. I call it like power wash in your mouth. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so if, if you'd like more information, if you have a question regarding a loved one, yourself, and you're saying, hey, am I a good candidate? Is my husband, my wife a good candidate? 571-5263. I'll remind you, the consultation is free. But if you'd like to talk to Dr. Dr. Ackerman now, 571-5263. We'll take a little break. Come back with your questions. Freedom Mini Dental Implants. Hi, I'm Joe Montana. When you get to be 65, you have little patience for nonsense and inefficiency. You know it works, and you become a pro at pretty much everything. That's why when I qualified for Medicare, I went with WellCare. With no cost or low monthly premium plans, and no primary care or prescription co-pays, they're pros at helping you keep more money in your pocket. Other benefits include an over-the-counter allowance for items like toothpaste, cold remedies, mouthwash, a flex card to pay for extra dental, vision, and hearing expenses, even give-back plans that send money directly to your Social Security check. You heard it straight from Joe the Pro Montana himself, legendary quarterback and actual WellCare member. WellCare is a no-nonsense Medicare insurance provider that's committed to giving you great benefits, like $0 or low monthly premiums, and $0 or low co-pays on prescriptions and primary care visits, just to name a few. And all of that comes without any of the hassle. So beat that. Don't wait. Be like Joe the Pro and make the right call. WellCare gets it. They get rid of all the hassles and give us the great benefits that we want. Dial the number on your screen now to request a free WellCare guide today. Or visit our website at enrollwellcare.com. That's enrollwellcare.com. WellCare. It's Medicare done well. Hi there, I'm Shannon Cogan. You can help Norton Children's Hospital by buying a raffle ticket. Imagine a house like this being yours for just $100 or a 2022 BMW X3 from BMW of Louisville and $10,000 cash. You could win it all. Tickets are just $100 and your chances to win are pretty good. For tickets, call 629-8060 or visit home and bmwraffle.com. Our open houses or these sponsors. Freedom Mini Dental Implants that has become the Chad Show very quickly here. Uh, yeah, Chad, the before and after pictures, we can't show those enough. If you get a chance, please throw those up there because this shows you what a beautiful smile can do for you. That is the same man. It is. It's almost hard yes. to believe. Yeah. But you know, too, I mean, don't get me wrong, beards are in. I know a lot of women really yeah. love them and men as well, but I'm, he's I'm very looking stylish at this. before, but now he's, you know, now that he's shaved, he, he can show off that smile. So. Yes, and he, and he looks just decades younger. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're one wondering, okay, how do they do this? Okay, what is the difference between the surgical implants and the mini dental implants that Freedom offers? And if you would, this model, this, this yes. bone, this is why if you've been told no, it may now be a yes. Yeah, this yeah. model may make a lot more sense to people. Um, why, if you've been told you weren't a candidate for the surgical implant, you can be a candidate for the mini implant. Um, so the smaller hole, which you can kind of barely see, which is where my finger is, um, that is the hole that I have to make when I place an implant. So it's very small. I do not have to have as much bone. So I do not have to do bone grafts or sinus lifts um, versus when
then they place a surgical implant. Ooh. It's a much bigger hole, and they have to have a lot more bone, um, and then usually it has to heal a lot longer because, you know, it's a bigger hole, and they've disturbed more bone. So that's the difference in, in the mini implant placement versus the surgical implant placement. So, you know, a lot of people were told they had periodontal disease or bone loss, and that's why their, you know, teeth maybe loosened up or they had to have their teeth removed. So they're worried they're not a candidate for implants. But as you can see, I always say I don't have to have uh, much bone. You know, I just have to have some bone. So you can still be a candidate for the mini implant, even if you had periodontal disease or possibly, you know, even years ago you were told you weren't a candidate for the surgical implants. You may be a candidate for the mini implant. Um, all you have to do is call the office and, you know, schedule the consultation. We will take that 3D x-ray at no charge. It's all part of the consultation and make sure you're a candidate. And in fact, it is rare that you say no, right? It, it is. is. Very rare. Very yeah. rare. I'd say about 90 to 95 percent of the patients that come in, you know, are a candidate for the mini implant. So as you can hear, it's all good news. We go to the phones. 571-5263 if you'd like to talk to Dr. Ackerman. Leah is up first. Leah, thank you for watching. You have a question for the doctor? Yes. Um, I have top and bottom dentures. <laughs> And if I can't afford to get both of them done at the same time, can you just do the bottoms and how and can you use the ones that I already have? Yes. Great questions, Leah. I'm so glad you called. So to answer your first question, yes. If you can't afford to do implants on the top and the bottom, yes. Um, most commonly, we will do the ones on the bottom because that's the one everybody complains about the most flopping around because you get no suction from it. So yes, we could do a snap in denture on the bottom and you could still have your regular denture on the top. Uh, and then to answer your second question, uh, yes. If you have dentures, you know, if for all intents and purposes, you like your dentures, you like the way they look and the bite's right, you just wish they stayed in and you didn't have to use denture glue, yes, we will use those same dentures and just convert them to a snap-in denture. And that will also save you money as well if we don't have to make new dentures. So yeah, Very good questions. Really good questions. Yes. But Leah, one more recommendation for you. Before you say, I don't think I can afford both, you're going to be surprised about how inexpensive they are. Yes. You know, I mean, yeah. to me, if you're, you probably had a surgical number in your head, this is totally different, so you may be able to yes. do both. Let's yep. grab another call and talk to Linda. Linda, welcome in. Yes. Hello? Yes. My question is, can you also do a single tooth with the same option you're talking about there? Yes, definitely. And if you continue to watch the show, we're going to show that model. Um, so yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. So we've talked a lot about replacing, you know, all the teeth if you have all your teeth removed. But definitely, we can use a mini implant to replace just one tooth or two teeth or three teeth. You know, if you have a partial or a flipper or something, you know, if you, or if you're missing one molar in the back, we can definitely use, you know, I place the mini implants the same way um, and then we submit the tooth or the crown onto those implants permanently so it stays in the mouth you get rid of the partial that you may have that comes in and out but but yes the mini implants can be used to replace a single tooth or multiple teeth it doesn't have to be the whole mouth so mm. yeah great question thank you Linda thank you for the call Leah thank you for your call as well five seven one five two six three if you have any questions whatsoever in fact while we have a little bit of time show us that model that if you do have yeah. a tooth missing it could be from a, a sports accident, it could be genetic, you right. can take care of it. Yes, huh? yeah, so this will definitely answer her question. So, like you said, if you're missing, you know, a front tooth, and some people, you know, are genetically born missing a front tooth, or if you had that sports accident. So, we place the implant the exact same way, um, no incisions, no stitches. The day I put the implant in, you will leave with the temporary on there. So, you get rid of that flipper or whatever you may have been struggling with, um, or if you were just missing the tooth. It will, you know, you'll have something that day that we place the implant. And then you do not have to wait another three to six months like you do with the surgical ones. You know, you come back maybe about maybe four weeks later and we have the nice pretty porcelain tooth made and then that gets submitted on to the implant 
permanently. So it doesn't come in and out. It's cemented on. Um, I think one of my patients explained it best. She's like, I feel like I grew my tooth back. Um, so, you know, we can do a single tooth. And then this model also shows, you know, if you're missing two or three teeth, a lot of people have had to have a molar or two molars removed in the back. And so, uh, say your big chewers. So if you're missing those, we can replace those at well, as well. Same thing as far as placing the implants. And then we just make a bridge of teeth with those two or three teeth connected. And then they get cemented on to those implants and they are permanently cemented into your mouth. They do not come in and out. You brush them and you floss them just like regular teeth. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of a break, and again, if you have a question, 571-5263, Dr. Ackerman is here to field the questions, and again, consultation is absolutely free. Let's get ready for a new year, a new smile for you, the smile that you've always dreamed of. We'll be right back with Freedom Mini Dental Implants. The fall savings event continues. Here at Toyota of Louisville, you'll find the right Toyota to fit your budget and lifestyle, and if you've got a trade, we'll buy it. We buy used cars every day. Toyota of Louisville, a swap dealership where nobody walks away. What do you think this is? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The mm -hmm. fat. Are you struggling with stubborn, diet resistant body fat? I would love to lose this here. Over my hips. Right here. I've always had a tummy problem. What if you could actually remove the fat permanently and in just one visit? Introducing. You by trusted Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently from your stomach, hips, and thighs, and back. I'm calling Sonobello right away. Schedule your free no obligation consultation now. Plus, find out how you can get $250 off instantly. That's $250 off your stomach back, even your thighs. Call 1-888-470-4969 or go to Sonobello.com. When you're in an auto accident with family, it is much more intense in the emotional feelings that you deal with. And I knew I needed someone there for me. When I called Kaufman and Stigger, I immediately felt a sense of trust. I felt like they were giving me advice as if I were calling up someone in my family. It hits home in the heart when your family's in that accident with you. And Coffin and Stigger was there for us and there for my family. Zero Down delivers this weekend on the pre-owned lot here at Toyota of Louisville. Cars, trucks, SUVs, and we want your trade. We buy used cars every day. Second Chance Finance. Toyota of Louisville, a swap dealership where nobody walks away. Windows open, I'm yelling unity. Side by side with my community. Celebrate, let's have a jubilee. They've been there for us. Let's be there for them. Ask and you shall receive Freedom Mini Dental Implants. We've been asking for phone calls and we have them. Thank you for calling. If you'd like to call 571-5263, you ready to go, Doc? Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's go to Chris. Fire away. Chris was nice <laughs> enough to call. Chris, welcome in. You have a question for Dr. Ackerman? I sure do. I got a bunch of teeth that's like broke down. Some of them broke all the way down to the gum line. Do you all pull the teeth or... Yes. Do y'all do that too? So that is the only thing you won't do in my office is I do still refer to an oral surgeon for the extractions. Um, that's mainly because a lot of people want to be sedated for that appointment and they can they can do the sedation. Um, but we do refer to an oral surgeon for the extractions. But that is the only appointment that you will you know have not at my office. Everything else you know I would make you know dentures before you get the teeth taken out. I'll see you the day after the teeth teeth are removed, um, I do any adjustments, you know, post-ops, implants, I do everything else. That is the only thing that we don't do, um, that I don't do at the office. We still refer to an oral surgeon. So. Yep, thank you for the call, Chris. I, but I would think the majority of denture wears, there are, their teeth are already removed. They're, already they're ready to go. Dentures, yeah, they're yeah, ready to you've go. already had your teeth removed. But I see a lot of people that come in um, that do need their teeth removed. But it's still important to come to me first so that I can take impressions and measurements and get dentures made for you so that when the teeth are removed, you have teeth and have something to wear during that initial healing phase until we can place the implants. Okay. Let's go back to the phones and talk to Linda, who was nice enough to call. Linda, welcome in. Thank you. 
Do you have a question? Yes, I do. My husband said, and he had all of his teeth removed about three years ago, and they told him that he could never wear dentures. But his gums, he can't eat hardly anything. And I was wondering if if he can, if he got dentures. Yeah, so I would just say the best thing to do would be to call the office and make a consultation so I can see him in person and maybe see why they may have told him that. Um, and we can take that 3D x-ray and if he has enough bone to place implants, then maybe we do have a better option for him where, you know, maybe he couldn't wear just a regular denture without implants and that's what they were speaking of. Um, but maybe he has enough bone to be able to place implants so that he would be able to wear a denture. So the best thing to do would be make a consultation appointment so I can, you know, do the x-ray and, and see him in person and see what his options may be. Yeah, Linda, thank you very much for your call. You know, her her call speaks to the challenges, and by the way, Merry Christmas to you and your husband, but speaks to the challenges a lot of people face and that I cannot imagine because a lot of the holidays and celebration is based around the kitchen and food. Yes. Can you imagine not being able to participate in, you know, grabbing a sugar cookie or, you know, hey, the, thank you for the hors d'oeuvres and, you know, yeah. that just, it, this is life changing. Yeah. yeah, and you're right, and a lot of people avoid those situations too because they don't want to put themselves in the situation because they know they're going to be self-conscious and they can't eat the things they want to eat. Um, so you're right, and especially this time of year, you know, it just reminds people of the struggles they're having with their teeth or their dentures. Um, and a lot of people suffer silently about it because they are embarrassed. And, and you may not even know that you have a loved one struggling with this um, because a lot of people are embarrassed to say that they had a denture or they had to have a tooth removed. And they are, they're embarrassed and they don't want to share that with their loved ones. So they may avoid those family functions for that reason and not tell you. So it's really important, you know, if you have somebody that is that you know you know is struggling with this please have them make a consultation and see if we can help them out if you have a question 571-5263 dr ackerman i have to talk to you about you, you tell me about how nice your patients are and you know that you actually become friends with them but i can see how that could happen very easily because you're you're changing their lives for the better of course they love you talk a little bit about you know people who have maybe lived you know 20 years of their life uh, avoiding getting in pictures because they don't like the way their teeth look or or they haven't been able to eat their favorite foods in years. Yeah. Talk about some of those conversations. Yeah. It has to be, they, they have yeah. to be so happy. They huh? are. I mean, there's uh, patients that come to my mind all the time, you know, that, you know, especially one I can think of right now that she said she just never went out and as soon as we were able, we gave her the permanent teeth and it was life changing for her. Um, her husband said she turned back into that social butterfly again, into her normal self and, you know, started, you know, seeing friends and getting out and going to the family gatherings again and it is you're right you know I see these people and they become you know family and friends I always kind of tell people you know when we start treatment we're kind of we're married together we're in this together <laughs> so, you know I, it, it's such a rewarding profession and especially the mini implants I'm you know feel so blessed that I discovered them and am able to give people this option um, that weren't able to have this option before a lot of people are told they need all their teeth removed and they think it's going to solve all their problems or going to get dentures. It's just a whole new set of problems with dentures. But at least with implants, the mini implants, and you know they're more affordable and less invasive, um, we can give people an option that didn't have an option. All right, let's grab another phone call and talk to Nidra, who is nice enough to join us. Nidra, Merry Christmas to you. Welcome in. Same to you. I have a question. Uh, I have a partial, upper partial has six teeth. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the difference in the, the mini implants and a bridge? I've had a bridge before and uh, it had made me lose two other teeth because it infected them yes. where food particles and stuff got up under them and I had to lose two more. Yes, so that is the advantage of doing mini implants. Um, when you do a bridge, you have to kind of grind down and you have to have anchor teeth. And so you're grinding down, you know, sometimes two healthy teeth to make a bridge to replace missing teeth. But with implants, we do not have to grind down healthy teeth. We are just replacing the missing space. So you don't have to rely on anchor teeth or your natural teeth so that
that if you lose, you know, because you're right, with a bridge, if you lose one of those anchor teeth, you lose your bridge, and that's not a fun situation. So that's where many implants can replace just the missing teeth. We do not have to touch any of your other teeth. It's just replacing the missing teeth. So I hope I explained that where you can understand that. So, yeah. you know, definitely make the consultation because, you know, we can definitely get you out of that partial and we don't have to crown or grind down or touch any of the adjacent teeth. Really good questions today. Yeah. Right, we, we have another one for you. Uh, Bella joins us now. Bella, welcome in. You have a question for Dr. Ackerman? Yes, I do. Go ahead. Uh, I was wondering, I have, imp I mean, I have, uh, I got dentures up in Noah Place. And uh, but I still have teeth in my mouth, like two front teeth on each side, and they are still uh, grabbing my lip when I take my digits out. They cut my lip on the inside of my mouth. I've tried, so the dentures, uh, the teeth, um, I'm trying to follow you. It's going to be kind of hard unless I probably see you in person. Uh, it could be if it's the denture teeth or if it's your actual teeth. Um, you know, if it's the denture teeth, the denture teeth may just be severely worn where they've gotten sharp edges on them, and you just may need some new dentures. Um, you know, if it's your natural teeth, that would be something I would need to see you for the consultation. All right. Thank you for all the calls. Great questions yes, today. Really appreciate definitely. it. Freedom Mini Dental Implants call. The consultation is absolutely free. There is her information on the screen. Like she said, it's a small company, a family-run business. So if you, if you don't get someone, leave a message mm -hmm. and they will get back with you. Okay, we'll take a little break here. And then coming up, we're going to talk to Don G about what's